What did you do this weekend, Robin? I went to see a show. Yeah, what show? The A Day in the Death of Joe Egg. Yeah, I would never go to that. <laughs> Already I know I don't like it. <laughs> oh, it's very well acted. Yeah, well. I, like I can it. tell you didn't like it either. No, I really like yeah. it. The second time I've seen that production, uh, not that particular production, I saw it in London first. I thought this was a much better thing. Hardy eats <laughs> eggs. Yeah, I like eggs. Hardy went out and did uh, stand up comedy this weekend, and John says Hardy's eating was out of control. Hardy's telling me it's the road. It, the road. It makes I go, him eat? He's here all week. He's on the road one day. Why well, does he days. have to eat on the road? Because, you know, what else is there to do? You, you, you drink and you get kind of revved up from the big performance. <laughs> and then you want to eat. Where were you guys? We were in Columbus, Ohio at the Funny Bone. So, <clears throat> so we go back to the hotel and our room service is closed at 12 o'clock. So we have no place to get food. So we're starving. So we go and call a cab company to go and take us through the drive-thru at the Steak and Shake. Oh, boy. The what? It's the... called, it's, it's one of the best places I've ever been to in my life. It's called Steak and Shake. And you can get steaks and shakes. What do you, what do you mean? Just, that's all they have? That, I mean, no, they have cheeseburgers. It's and a drive-thru? It's a drive-thru. And yeah. you get drive-thru steak? Like a porterhouse <laughs> steak you can get? Well, they have what they call a steak burger, which is what we got. But yeah, you so could... it's a hamburger. No, but you could get a steak, too, right. if you wanted. Like steaks and eggs. And... Is it in Columbus? This is in Columbus, yeah. Steak and shake. I wonder why they don't have that here. Yeah. But it, It's great. And it's like an all-night drive through so for people like us, you can go there and eat. And we were loaded, so we had to order through the cab driver who barely sp spoke English, so we were yelling stuff. I want chili, too. Like, I, they want chili. And uh, we want a double toe. The, <laughs> they kind of know what we were talking So what about. did you pack away? All right, I got to tell you Artie's menu. You ready? <clears throat> uh, uh, one double cheeseburger. Uh -huh. uh, one grilled cheese sandwich. Oh. This is, he ordered all this at once. Yeah, this is all for one sitting. Yeah. One grilled cheese sandwich. Uh, why does it always have to have cheese? I mean, I don't know. I, I like cheese. Yeah, I I've you never don't... heard of a cheeseburger with a cheese, a grilled cheese on the side. Yeah, grilled cheese on the side. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, no, no, no. Howard, he, 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 a, a, a double yeah. cheeseburger, then a grilled cheese sandwich. Before he says this, oh. I'm just going to say up front, there'll be, I, I can't defend this behavior at all. <laughs> this was no, because cheese is like the most fattening thing. I know. And you don't care. No, no. Well, I was, I mean, you know, I was very hungry. All right, so you wait, okay. start again. Yeah, you got to hear this. Double cheeseburger. One double cheeseburger. Okay. Then a separate grilled cheese sandwich. Then a bowl of chili Ooh. with saltines. Ugh. Then an order of onion rings. You know, the, the, you know, the fried onion rings. Then an order of french fries. Oh, my God. Oh. Then Did you order it all at once or, or separately, like like a little bit all at time? once? Yeah, yeah. All at once. Yeah, this is a drive through It's a drive through staying there. And then a large chocolate shake with whipped cream and cherry on top. Wow. But, but, uh, uh, I don't know how you're not fatter. You're amazing. <laughs> Me neither. And then, and, and then, Howard, so we go back to the hotel, and I realize that my hamburger has cheese on it. I hate cheese, so I'm, I'm, I'm starving. So I'm, so I'm eyeing Artie's chili, hoping he's not going to eat it. Artie, Artie takes the grilled cheese sandwich and dips it in the chili as like a dipping Dip. sauce. And, and cleans out the whole bowl of chili with the grilled cheese sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then the next and night... And then I got a good night's sleep. I'm laughing. Oh. And then the next night, the same menu, again, at Steak and Shake. The next night, it. only two double cheeseburgers. Wow. And, and, and like, a double's double the meat, so we got two double I mean, one double cheeseburger would be somebody's dinner. Right. <laughs> but he ordered, like, for three people. And they're big. Go, I mean, you move your bowels afterwards like like is it like insane well, the, forget it so this is friday night you know right. So we, we've been up for 20... And you were drinking all night. Yeah. All right, we gotta, i got to show you the note. That it's, 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 it's as unhealthy as... You are so gluttonous. I, you get... I have no totally defense for stuffed. what... Yes, and then I go upstairs. You know, the funny thing is, I could eat the same meal Artie you just described, Artie, because I, I am ravenous. I can eat and eat and eat, but I, I get like, oh my God, I don't want to be like a huge... I don't want to be like, you know, Reuben Stuttered. I <laughs> doubt if you could eat three sandwiches Absolutely could. in one sitting. Absolutely could. And a bowl of chili. Absolutely could. I'd, I'd like to I see you, you do it. And you should see the amount of food I eat. I just eat healthy food. Well, I do think you're like a factory. Yeah. I always think of you. I mean, like, you're constantly feeding your machine. Yeah. Oh, man, I'm, I'm hungry. Yeah. I am hungry yeah. all the time. But Artie must have a baby when he goes to the bathroom. But i got to tell you something. Like, like, I just ate my breakfast. Yes. I mean, I'm starving. I had egg whites, and that's it. I ate the, the edge of a toast.
<laughs> and the thing is that... <laughs> and Artie's got bread and bread and bread. But the, and I'm so starving after that, but, like, the hunger will subside. I'll forget after a while. You know what I mean? Like, you gotta, right. just, like, you gotta start somewhere. But this you is know, after, like, eight shots of tequila. Which is a lot of calories, too. Yeah. And, like, and not only that, that lowers his ability to say no to the food. But I went to Steak and Shake, and it was fun when you're drunk. To, I was pretending I was Jeff the Drunk when I ordered, and I said, I'd like a steak... <laughs> And I'd like a shake. <laughs> That's funny. Hey, Howard. Yeah. I once saw Artie um, sort of diet for about a minute and 11 seconds. It was the funniest thing. It was another one of these comedy shows. So they order all this food. So Artie got a bunch of hamburgers. So he's sitting there, and he pulls the burger off the bread. And he goes, yeah, you know, I promised Dana that I would lay low on the breads and stuff. So he cuts up the hamburger with a knife, and he eats like three of them. And then he's sitting there, and he's sitting there, but it's a room full of food. So finally, he can't take it anymore. He goes to the pizza, and that's like eight slices of pizza. <laughs> but he really did not eat the bread. I mean, Dana, if Dana's going to marry you, she's going to have to realize she is going to be living with a very fat guy. Well, the problem is... I mean, is, you're not changing. The problem is is that then after this, it's 4 a.m., yeah, I, I, I go upstairs, and I call Dana. Yeah, this is a whole... Hold on, hold on, wait. Hold on, hold on. And it's like... Hold on. He's drunk. I mean, he had, right. he had about eight shots of tequila on stage. I mean, you know, just totally inebriated. Right. You know. So so then he's like, right, I'm gonna go call Dana, and I'm like, all right, don't call Dana. It's just not the. It's, you you don't do it. Like God, I have a thing I gotta call her after every you know night. She's got to make sure I'm okay. Hmm. Go, all right, just tell her the phones aren't working or something. You key, you should not call. He's like, the, what? The phones aren't working. And the phones aren't working. I go, I don't care. Don't do it. Sure enough, he does it. Tell tell what you did. <laughs> well, that's just, the whole point is I call her and we talk for like an hour and she stays on the phone with me and, and the next morning I wake up and I forget most of the conversation and there's, there's grease all over the phone from the, from the meal. You like know? a murder. And I got to go wash the phone and then yeah. I'll call Dana the next day to recap what the, con you know, when I wake up at two. Right. And she'll be all mad and she'll go, so, uh, remember calling me last night? And I go, I go, yeah, yeah, I remember. She goes, well, good conversation, right? I go... Yeah, yeah. She goes, nice proposal. <laughs> oh! Oh! I go, what? Oh. You know, like, why does she want to talk to you in that condition? I think she's afraid. She wants to make sure I'm okay. But you're not okay. <laughs> so she's, yeah, making, so she's making sure I'm not okay. You proposed in a drunken stupor? I guess maybe I did. No. Wow. And I guess maybe I've done it before. Oh I love you. I love you. Oh, forget it. The Late Show, Friday Night oh. in Columbus. They were the craziest group. you got to read the note that the manager gave to the owner of the club about the Late Show in Columbus. What did it say? <laughs> He goes, all right, I think you were happy with the numbers. He goes, uh, 1030 show, out of control. I spoke with John and Artie, both so they could handle everything. We kicked out two people for walking up on stage. Artie went 30 minutes over, in parentheses, very drunk. <laughs> I, I really thought he wouldn't get off the stage. <laughs> John lets him go. Oh I felt both CR and TJ God. had to handle the shows. This show is probably the craziest show I've ever, I, I've ever managed. <laughs> Artie went like 30 minutes. He was like, people are buying him shots of tequila. I've never seen a guy drink that much alcohol in, in one. Dude, you're going to be dead. Well, there's no, there's are you no, doing a Belushi for no, real? No, no, I swear to you. There, there was no security there. People were coming up on stage. I'm supposed to do 40 minutes. That's right. the headline. You do like 40 minutes. And you're just doing your stand-up and then some guy walks up on stage? Yeah. Yeah. And, and offers you a drink. Yeah. Yeah. And, and like, Artie feels too much peer pressure. But isn't that, doesn't that ruin the flow of your comedy? Yeah. <laughs> but the guy's got a drink. And are you so drunk, do you remember your act? I mean, no, I, I mean if you're proposing it, Shakes. It's amazing. He could he could oh. do his act like inebriated. I've never seen anybody could, could do that. I mean, yeah, you know, it's I could do somebody act in my sleep, which I think I technically did. But, uh, you know, <laughs> I was supposed to do 40 minutes in the late show. I did probably like an hour and a half. <laughs> like a Springsteen concert. Let me ask you something. If Dana said to you, Artie... You have to stop drinking or I'm leaving you. What would you, what would you do? I'd stop drinking. You would? I would. For a minute. Whoa! You're would, never going to stop. Because it's not, booze isn't as important to me as it used to be. It just isn't. <laughs> it just isn't. It's, 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 look, on the road, it's, it's really, it's, it's, it's horrible. The hotel rooms are bad. The, you know, and me and John, uh, you know, don't 
cheat on our <laughs> significant other so we eat. Well, John does. <laughs> no, I don't. No, I'm, I'm joking. I've never seen John even close to doing it. Yeah, we, we, we just go to the bar, drink, and then eat. It's true. If you can't have sex with somebody, you might as well drink. What's the other great pleasure Drink and eat. Right, drinking. E and eating. Right. I mean, I treat a double cheeseburger as my mistress. <laughs> my lady. But do you think Artie will one day be a Walter Hudson? Oh, no. Well, no. I don't know. You know. I think he's yeah, I, you know what? It's weird. The thing that saves Artie is, I guess, that he was an athlete when he was younger. Uh -huh. Somehow, that seems to be... Well, that's his body so, still I'm, remembers? I'm yeah, like, like, like there's some sort of sense memory. But at some point, you cannot eat that many calories. I, I play softball. Like, I'm playing softball today in the park. Yeah. yeah, but one of these days, your activity level is going to go down. Like, you'll be married, you'll have a family, you'll have chores at home or something. Yeah. And your activity level is going to go down, but the eating isn't. Well, he... <laughs> <laughs> he might turn into a Walter Hudson. They might be taking him out with the crane. <laughs> well, you never know. Already, already flailing his arms up and down. I can't walk. <laughs> I, th I think he's going to do, like, do the Belushi thing. Like, no, I'm not. <laughs> I think you're going to die young. I, uh, uh, look, I'm 35. I already got a couple of years on Belushi. Any history of heart problems in your family? No. No? Nothing crazy. And it never scares you when you hear about guys like uh, Luther Vandross or... Uh, uh, Barry White. Those guys are black. Oh, if that's the difference? Yeah. They're not fat. It's not the fat. He's a fat white guy. So it's the white <laughs> yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's going to save him. Yeah. I, I just wanted to, it, it was, but, but it, was, it was a good show, Friday. Yeah, no, no. He, he, he's yeah. professional. Yeah, I mean, and... The, oh, nobody's critiquing the show. I, mean, the, 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 the I would one love show to that critique he got that show. The five shows. <laughs> What? We had five shows, and only one of them was the one that he got drunk the late show Friday night. Yeah, there's two shows, and then three shows Saturday night. It's a, it's a busy, crazy, <laughs> Audi, Audi, crazy weekend. <laughs> he retires after every every weekend. He goes, that's it. No <laughs> more. <laughs> I, told, I told John on the way home, I said, that's it. This was my farewell. <laughs> my swan song. I'm, I'm retiring. Yeah. He's like Cher. Business. He just retired. How are you? For you? Yeah. you should hear these two argue in the office, or I should say John Brown beat Artie. Because the funny thing. John's on the road, and John just wants to, he just wants to crank it out, man. He's just going to say, let's make the money. So they wanted to add a sixth show. And Artie's like, and Artie, like, I think is on the road under protest. Mm -hmm. you know, so well, they I'm doing it for money. I got to make money. Yeah, and, and, and Artie's like, John, listen, I don't want to work that much. And they, they just, like, bicker all the time. They're like a married couple. Well, we're going to be out there. Might as well be make it. Yeah, what else are you going to do? Yeah, nothing yeah, else to do. It's you, bored. But you're going to say that how, yeah. how the weight of the show falls on Artie. Right. Or he does well, an hour he and a half. Does no, like he does minutes. 40 minutes. I did 25. Uh, yeah. It's not quite that much. No, no but he's the closer. So he, yeah, Can but I make a suggestion on your shows? I mean, uh, you know, a yeah. critique. Yeah. And I haven't even seen them. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it's a little too long. No, no, they're only an hour and a half long. Yeah. yeah no, all we have is one I guy. went to see Sarah yeah. Silverman oh. on uh, Saturday Night Bush. She was so funny. Yeah? Oh, my God. you got to go see her show. She was funny as hell. Yeah, she's really good. Oh, wonderful. Really good. Yeah, I really, really think she's the bomb. But she, um, she does like, like I, I got there. The show was supposed to start at seven thirty. Started twenty to eight. Okay, I got there late, so thank God it started twenty to eight. Um, so twenty to eight, and uh, I was out. I was down in Noble by nine. I mean, like, in other words, she does a little under an hour. Yeah, yeah. And you're out. And it's enough. Hey, you're done. That's you're done. Enough. That's enough for comedy. It Absolutely. really is. Yeah. And I know you feel like, well, you know, you're charging people money. you got to stand there all night. But give them a good show and get the hell out. And then you... Well, these shows are only an hour and a half long. But at a club, every show, at a comedy club, it's usually an hour and a half. Yeah, I think those comedy clubs are boring sometimes. They're so goddamn long. Is it just you and John? There's got to be somebody me, else. It was me, Artie, and Ross Maneem. That was it. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, and then Artie had his body there. Right. But um, th uh, this really good comedian came with us. There's a, a, a MC, a middle, they call it, and the closer. That's, that's what it's like at a, at a comedy club. <laughs> Who's the closer, you? Yeah. yeah. And you're drunk. <laughs> Not all the time. Nah. I'm only drunk right, if the people say... get me drunk. There's no You security. could say no. They come, yeah. But, yeah, Artie, the security is that you say no. <laughs> like someone's got to stop. Someone's got to tackle someone. Artie acts drink. like there was a gun to his head. He yeah. had to drink eight to Well, you haven't no. seen our crowds, Robin. <laughs> there might have been a gun nearby. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm probably Reminds not. me of that scene in like the Blues Brothers when guys are throwing stuff at the right. cage. You, yeah, you tell you tell the head of the biker group in Columbus, I'm not doing a shot with him. Michael, you're on the air. Good 
morning, Howard. Oh, my goodness. The guy who walks up, is he like a, a biker dude? And, yeah. A lot of them look like that. Yeah. Yeah. Some, the bald. Yeah. yeah. Bald ear, earrings. Earrings, earrings nose mullet. rings. <laughs> You're doing a shot, pussy. Hardy never turns him out. I heard that, you know, once he did a shot of tequila with Tabasco in it. Oh. By mistake. Yeah. One guy gave oh. me a shot at the killer once on stage in Pittsburgh. It had, ha it had his girlfriend's hair in it. Oh, did he do that on purpose? I don't know if he did it on purpose, but I got so mad. And then I drank the shit. <laughs> Go ahead, Michael. Howard, I got to tell you, that steak and shake is the most greasiest food you can ever eat in your lifetime. Yeah. Thank you. That is disgusting what he ate. Howard, That's it's so greasy. Yeah. Oh, gr greasy beyond, beyond belief. I like a steak. And I'd like a shake. <laughs> it's unbelievable. And let me tell you something. His his girlfriend will leave him in a drop of a hat if he loses your show. Once you go off the air, he's done. I don't think so. Now he'll be married by then. No. He'll be married he'll, with he'll, a kid. He'll divorce him then. She's only with him for the fame. Fame? What fame? Well, I don't have the fame of your show. Riding your coattail. All right. Now she hey. loves him. Who knows? But what, So what if she's with him for the show? Let him have a good time. He's in show. Yeah, I guess, yeah. but... He's banging a hot check. What does he care? He's going to be 400 pounds in no time. <laughs> he keeps going on the road. I don't know. He seems to manage this. Well, he jogged like... What, what, what did yeah, he Saturday I woke up and I jogged two and a half miles on the treadmill. <laughs> and then probably went to McDonald's drive through for breakfast. <laughs> no, I, had a, I, I did. I actually... I, for lunch, you know what I had for lunch Saturday afternoon after I jogged the steak? <laughs> did you really? Me and my buddy... Me and my buddy Jimmy was on the road. Us, we went. We said, "Let's go get a nice meal." And we sat down and I had a steak. Steak with what, though? You see, like a steak wouldn't even be bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's hear what else. Yeah, it's what not else? real steak, Mash, either, Howard. It's not steak. This is not steak and shake for lunch. We went to a nice place. Uh, I had mashed potatoes and um, bread and yeah, and a salad. All the accoutrements. And a salad and with a couple of coke. Yes, yeah, salad coke. with Russian dressing. The cokes are what kill me. If I could knock out Coke and Hawaiian Punch, I would be... <laughs> Honestly, because a lot of my calories... I'm 35 years old. I have two Hawaiian Punches and like seven Cokes in a day. Yeah. <laughs> But do you see how it's lost on Artie to take him to a gourmet Howard. restaurant? <laughs> oh, please. Oh. You have actually... I took him to Picasso in yeah, Vegas. why did you do that? Oh, it was just so stupid. And they bring out this tiny little lamb chop, and I'm like, this guy, this poor bastard is going to go out and eat. <laughs> yeah, he's going to go out and have a real meal. Like I'm this. thinking, good, at least they limit my portions. Because, uh, you know, I don't have to be so fat. They brought me a second one. That what waist size are you, anyway? Very nice. You're not them. that bad. I, I, my my uh, jeans are 36, 35. Same 30. as me. And I can get into 34 sometimes. What so. jeans? Are you wearing jeans? I'm not wearing jeans right now. You know what he's resorted to now? <laughs> In the Hilton Hotel, he's wearing pajama bottoms. <laughs> <laughs> look, at oh, look who's talking. Ralph Lauren over yeah. here. John, your ass is so... John's ass is out the whole weekend. I know, no I know. No what he has on what him. Howard, you half know. of the crack of his ass is I know. grotesque. It's grotesque. <laughs> I see they, they, bring us, they put us in the back office of this comedy club. It's like a closet. Yeah. John orders a bucket of beers that he has to have before he goes on stage. I mean, you think I got problems. Right. And it's, you're sitting on a couch. John has to bend over to get the beer. And his ass is in your face while he's taking the cap off. Oh. Shoving a line with you his damn style light. Just gross. You know what's man. funny, Howard? <laughs> I know. I've been over to like, his place. And the ass is like part of the whole day. The ass is all over the place. Yeah, he has never bought a pair of pants that fit him. No, he comes out to my house and the ass is just like everywhere. I've seen John's ass more than I've seen Dana's. <laughs> Howard, you know what's funny? The Camino is with us. Who was with you? The comedian. <laughs> this, this, this guy. Is this, is this comic? I, I mean, is this comic that doesn't drink, doesn't smoke, doesn't do anything bad? Yeah, is and it, just, he must have been repulsed by me and Artie the whole time, just drinking. <laughs> he's, he's really funny, but he's a real healthy guy. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. So it. Well, dude. Wow. <laughs> Steak and shake. But I don't know how. Why do you need a grilled cheese sandwich? Oh, uh, Robin, I wasn't thinking rationally. <laughs> why do you need a bowl of chili with it? Well, to dip yeah, your cheese sandwich in. I just oh, it's so good though. Never heard of all of that. If you, it, it, I, I mean, that sounds like a nice combo: the bread with the cheese and the chili sauce. But oh, Howard, if you've never dunked a grilled cheese in a bowl of chili, oh, I've never heard of dunking grilled it. cheese. But plus, the hamburgers come with. I had turkey on chili it. for dinner last night, and I just. I was I was worried that the sauce had too many calories. I put stream beans in it to fill me up. Uh -huh. I mean, 
I'm just trying to stay somewhat thin. This no. guy, he just, he, I mean, for what he eats, he's pretty thin if you think about it. Yeah, yeah he's amazingly he thin. He should be Walter Hudson. You're the other end of the spectrum. You, you're the most disciplined guy I've ever but seen But, dude, in my life. if I ate like you did, I, I would be so fat. I mean, there would be no hope for me. And just think of all the booze he poured in on top of it. You know, yeah. he's just, he's all over the but place. But plus, I, I, I forgot to mention those, those double cheeseburgers he got had everything on it. So it was loaded with main, uh, you know, <laughs> mayonnaise and pickles. And, and it's know. in a bun. Yeah, it's in a bun. <laughs> Fun. On the cigarettes. It's like the worst is when you wake up in the morning and you get a whiff of your fingers by mistake. Uh. It's like cheeseburger and cigarette and tequila. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> you relive the whole awful uh. night. <laughs> <laughs> and then, you know, it's like... That's just... <laughs> <laughs> like the, the phone is full of grease. Yeah, yeah. Let's say this out. Looks, like a, looks like there was a murder in the room. One Somebody time, murdered a steak. One time, when I was <laughs> one time when I was like 20 years old, I was talking to my buddy on the phone, my friend Mike Sacone. I'll never forget this. We think there's a guy upstairs who executed a cow in his room. <laughs> We're pretty sure housekeeping sees all the remnants of it. I was talking to him on the phone. This was when I was like 20 years old, and he hear me go, oh, oh. He goes, oh, well, what's the matter? He thought I was like dying. And I, I found a White Castle pickle in my underwear. I don't, uh, I don't know how in the hell it got in. I was wearing jockey underwear, and it was like the, the oh, ketchup was goodness. dried up, and it was stuck to my ass almost. Hey, Harry. <laughs> but I know Artie's getting heavy because we took this small plane home, yeah. and I sat next to him. And you know those the armrest? Yeah. Artie put it up because I guess maybe because had... his fat was <laughs> squeezing. <laughs> And at one point, I tried putting it down so I could lean on it. Uh, first of all, John, don't even, don't even get into your behavior on a plane. When John had long hair, we sat together and coach once on a plane. He fell asleep in two seconds on a six-hour flight, and his hair was in my food. I couldn't wake him up. And, and he's drooling. Like, oh, hey, Four shows of Hardy, I'll give you the money. Hardy, I'll give you the money for the parking later. I think they put my He got money. He tipped the driver. The <laughs> following John on, the, on stage, he spits into the mic. He's got like, like tuberculosis or something. You get up there, the mic is soaked in wet. It looks like someone dunked it in a sink. And John was going, yeah, so, all right, let's so bring a party there. Let's rock a leather. Party, do you know Anybody got any weed? <laughs> What's about my John Party, I just got to go to the ATM machine. I'll get you the money for the car. And you got money for the food? If you have, you just, I just I need somebody to go to the airport. I'll pay you when we get back to New York. Artie told me the funniest story the other day. You know, Artie? Jesus. Poor, you know what? I've heard that monologue. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Oh, Artie's yeah. been eating Milano cookies yeah. oh, oh, this for breakfast. The worst. Last, uh, was it Friday? It was Friday, yeah. Uh, John, two days before that, Ar John had asked Artie for a Milano cookie, and Artie gave it to him. The next day, John just decided, well, now I can take him. So he reached into the bag and just took a Milano cookie out of Artie's bag. And then he ate, you know, he started to eat it, and then he had to tell Artie something. So he leaned down and started talking into Artie's ear. Artie said he had Milano cookie. Howard. Spit all over his face. Howard, it was. I did spit out of my ass. Howard, I had, to go in the, I had to go into the bathroom and boil my face. <laughs> I was so grossed out. He comes over to me, he takes a Milano cookie, and he starts talking to me about like, okay, so it's all set. We got a car coming for us. <laughs> uh -uh. All right. Uh -uh. <laughs> Howard, he was an inch from my face. He spit. It was saliva and Milano cookie crumbs covered my face. Like, I looked like a piece of modern art. You know, it's really weird because John, like, latches on to certain people. Like, like John and Jackie were, like, joined yeah, right, at the hip. Right. And then when Jackie, you know, did his swan song here, <laughs> like, you're not that in touch with Jackie anymore. Oh. And, and, and now it's like, Artie just filled Jackie's shoes completely. I mean, he's, oh, he's a younger version. Yeah, he like, he like, he's like the same guy. He's paying for crap. He's, he, he eats uncontrollably. Mm -hmm. He likes to drink. It's perfect. Yeah. But no, Howard, I know Artie, the you, money situation on the road with John, it's, it's getting embarrassing. Well, do you what realize? Do you mean? Well, just because, just because, you know, we get a town car, which I had to force him to get, right. uh, to, to, to go from the hotel to the airport, and the town car guy is waiting to get paid. Supposedly, this is stuttering John and friends on tour, and of course, right. I got to tip him, because the guy's just waiting there. So, you know, and after I tip him, oh, sorry, I got to go to the ATM. And I, you know, I used to tip him on the way back. You know, Did he ever give you any of the money back? 
Well, how, what do you, what you right now? He owes me five hundred dollars. I got the I got the check. All right, let's see. It. What did he owe you five hundred for? Well, we sometimes we uh, we split some of the expenses and. Uh, yeah. You know, why don't you do this before you leave on any given weekend? You and John put in the same amount of money into a into a, a fund, a fund, right. and that's the money. You know what? Because why do you leave it up to anyone? What you're saying is make makes complete sense, but right. it'll never. Like happen. when you went to the steak and shake, who ends up buying everything? Uh, I did. Wait, right. wait, I offered to pay. You said John, it's on me. No, oh you said it's on me. Fred, what happened at lunch? Remember lunch last week? We went. John goes. I, I go. I'll pay for lunch. With John, I said the two of us will buy lunch, and John goes to open his wallet. There's nothing. It's, right. it's the abyss. It's just nothing. And it's the same move. Yeah. Oh, I got it. Oh, I can do the Like, he doesn't know it's empty. Because I have a credit card. Why would I, uh, you know, I mean, I, I, I can't. It, it, why, would I, why would I pull it out? <laughs> Pay with his credit card? Sometimes. If you, I mean, Come John, on, Art. You, every once in a while you do, but you really got to... It's, it's just, you know what? No one wants to always tip the limo driver. No one... No, wants... no it was included in the uh, car, the uh, tip. No. No, it was. It never is. Yeah, the guy always... I mean, I like those... We give, always give a little something. I always yeah. give the guy a 20 at yeah. least. Yeah. You know, it's a... It's a, yeah. it's a no, I would have too, but I didn't have any money. cash, too. The guy's got some money on him. I, I had no cash coming home. Yeah, but why don't you have cash? <laughs> Because I, uh, I spilled my wallet out. I had ten bucks, and I and at the bar we went and the late Saturday night. I bought three cans of ready whip. <laughs> oh, for to, to do um, whippets. Whip yeah, so I emptied my wallet. Howard, it is, this, I'm telling you, this. I don't know if it's funny on stage, but it's retarded backstage. <laughs> it's a it's a it's a documentary. Yeah. What goes on? He's buying ready whip. He's buying ready. He's 37. He's got children. He's got, he's got to have any money. He's It's like you turned it into Manhattan. Yeah, we did. We did. I mean, it really is just... I mean, look at me. Look, look at my eyes. Oh, I know. You look horrible. You're looking at me. I look horrible. Yeah. My, my mother... I slept all yesterday afternoon. I missed the Yankee game. I woke up at 6. Now I'm screwed because I can't get to bed. Yeah. My mother comes over with food. And uh, she looks, she goes, you look horrible. <laughs> Why don't you stop doing this? I'm like, what? You, I didn't go to college. I have to do this. Yeah, what am I going to do? <laughs> look stop at me. doing it. Stop doing it. But you could, you know, you could sort of curtail some of the behavior. No, you're right. You know. <laughs> Is it fun, Artie, when you're doing it? <laughs> when you're on stage and... You know, the people no, I are liking you. And, and waking up at 2. It's got to be fun, at least. And yes, it's fun. fun. It's fun when you're doing it. The recovery process is <laughs> god-awful. Aaron, you're on the air. Hey, what's up, Howard? Hey. Hey, um, one thing uh, you need to know about Steak and Shake, <laughs> although it is very greasy, uh -huh. them, them steak burgers are about an eighth-inch thick. Mm-hmm. So they're like the thinnest hamburgers in the world. Okay, so they're hardly there. Right. Yeah. Sounds yeah, good. And yeah, but already got doubles. It still doesn't matter. It's still really tiny. I got a blind and, uh, I'm laughing them, so hard. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And well. then them French fries are shoestring. All right. Yeah, <laughs> for, sorry, sorry. Thanks, for, thanks for adding this. Yeah. Thanks for coming to my defense, but it's well, you, you know, you know, y'all are harassing uh, or getting on them about uh, how. Y'all are imagining these burgers like quarter pounders from. Uh, All right, thank you for the dollars. specs, son. Who cares? <laughs> Sorry, I had four uh. of them. Never mind, it's still too much food. <laughs>
Now, let me tell you about Steak and Shake. <laughs> now, it is greasy. I'll give you that. But these are hamburgers. Them hamburgers. Them hamburgers. I ain't like regular New York type hamburgers. <laughs> Dave, you're on the air. Howard, hey, I love you, man. Hey, I was at the show Saturday night. Artie rocks. <laughs> Good. <laughs> he was great. But Artie, your buddy is terrible. What buddy? Oh. Oh, you know John? Artie. <laughs> hey, Artie. Yeah. Artie. Hey, Artie, you got to tell that joke about the priest that you closed with. That was a great joke. I told it all day yesterday. Well, that's not tellable on the air. Oh, you can change it around. Hey, and when, when John talks, he looks like one of those slow motion sneeze things they do on, like, the Science Channel. All right. We, uh, who cares? <laughs> all right. Everybody bores me. <laughs> all right. Uh... We didn't let that guy tell us how big the uh, French, the uh, onion rings. <laughs> yeah, we only got to the French fries when I hung up on them. Well, they're regular size, Rob. <laughs> well, let's see here, Rob. Um, the onion, onion rings. Ring. Yeah, they barely fit around my penis. <laughs> <laughs> Which is how I like to devour them. When you're banging an onion ring. <laughs> We're going to take a break, and we'll be back right after these words. Hi, I'm Gay Ramon, Howard Stern's first gay boyfriend. And um, um, Howard, if I would ever get you by myself, you and I in the bedroom, I would lick you from head to toe. I would play with your feet, tickle you, lick your booty. Um, anything you want me to do, smack me. Um, angry rooster, whatever you want to do, baby. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> 